and welcome back everyone to another episode of Morocco where as you guys know we took a lot of land in the beginning of the episode and now we're having major major problems because for some reason I don't know what in the infinite wisdom the the uh, Algerians did not join in my attack when I needed them and so we just basically lost like a ton of men we lost like a ton of infantry to the Moroccanians and now the land is being seized up See, they don't realize that I was trying to save our land, both of our land, from being, like, taken over. But now, uh, I don't know. They better join me this time, because I'm sending in even more men to go deal with these stupid, you know, people. I'm even gonna, I'm even gonna have my uh, king go out and fight. Hey, my king's actually pretty good at fighting. So, they better be able to fight against this, because we can't, I can't deal with this army by myself. And... I'm losing pretty badly, so what I could do is actually just admit defeat. How about we just admit defeat? You guys take all your stuff. You guys get all of that. Can see defeat? No, they don't even want to talk yet. Okay. Yeah, this is at the point where Portugal is just being a, a jerk. I don't know why the AI does this, but it always be a it always is a jerk for some reason, and it just. You know, never wants to do peace in a baby. And okay, this time you guys better like not quick off for me. Okay, just get in the corner. Oh, you! Oh, now you guys decide to join. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now we both lost. Good job. Good job. Good job, Algiers. You guys just ruined the entire plan. Ah, oh, you idiots! You stupid, stupid idiots! The sad part is that I don't think I have enough men to protect ourselves anymore. That army is basically just gonna go in and take whatever it wants. <sighs> idiots, you stupid idiots. Uh, like, I I'm not gonna be mad when I annex you. I'm going to be so happy, because that was an idiot move. You guys should have just listened to me. <sighs> so now, Al now, Algiers, now Argentina has this major foothold in the, uh, Game party has this major foothold in the northern Moroccan coast or eastern Mor Moroccan coast. Algiers has submitted. Pe oh, you are blood. Can I just can I just surrender, please? Uh, yeah, I forgot. These guys are gonna be jokes about. It. They're not gonna let me surrender. Okay, so I'm gonna arrive. I think I'm gonna arrive just as they're about to attack. Okay, there we go. Keep them, what I could do is possibly keep them in their land. Okay, that's what I think I'm going to try to do. We conquered some of my land, and basically we're going to try to win this through good old grit. I'm also going to have to hire lots of mercenaries. Just hire as many mercenaries as we can right now. Because right now we are fighting a dual bed war. They're coming after me in Gafasa. I'm going to see if I can pause it. No, they don't want to attack me if I do that. A loan is coming due. Let's see. How much did I take? 29. I won't be able to repay it. Okay. We're building up our we're building up our mercenary men so that we don't take our manpower. See, I wish I wish this had like a mercenary uh, kind of tech group, but it doesn't. It's kind of stinks. And I should be getting. I don't understand this though. I should be getting war score for not having the. Uh, uh, they don't have the. Uh, uh, war score, yeah, we are getting war score, but we're losing uh, the battle of. Oh, I see. I'm losing so many battles that they're just like. It doesn't even matter. I'm losing so many battles against these guys. Well, I'm fighting basically all of Iberia Peninsula, and I'm doing pretty good about it. I mean, I'm not doing like the best of the best, but I'm at least trying. <laughs> oh gosh, and. Slowly but surely, I think my my ally, my personal union vassal guys, will be annexed. Oh come on! You guys let them have military access, really? Oh, you are the most frustrating friends I've ever heard. You just betrayed your own countrymen for the safety of what? Okay, they're, they're moving to Fez. They're gonna try to kill my. You know what? I'm gonna go kill you. Really? You guys feel confident enough you guys are gonna beat me? Okay, good. I'm gonna go kill you guys. Okay, let's go get our let's go actually group up all the soldiers. Okay. I know Gafasa is revolting. Uh, 
this is the one in disadvantage to having like Portuguese neighbors. Is to having like this many people come after you this early. Okay, what do you guys want? Okay. Uh when we announce a claim that Gakuto uh, uh Marco will pay Actually that's pretty good. <laughs> Annulling my treaties with Morocco uh, Algiers, please do. I want to conquer those guys so badly now for betraying me twice during the war. I mean, you would think I'd be like angry about it? No. There we go. There we go. War exhaustion? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, let's go just destroy this army, by the way. Um, but we greatly believe we lost, so we Congress caused this battle against Portugal. That's fine with me. They can keep it. But. The bigger thing is now is the time to get revenge against our once thought to be allies, the uh, Algerians. And you know what? What's the perfect time to do it when they're still allied with the Ottomans? You know, one of the most unlikely things to happen in this game, and they are rocking that hard. Let's get that alliance too, just so that we're more protected. Hmm. Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight against the Ottomans yet, but... Let's see. Could they honestly build up enough troops to... Let's see. Do they have any kind of carriers right now? Because I want... I was going to conquer them anyways, but I really want to conquer on the uh, Algerians. I think it's about time to do that. They have in total six transports. That means they can bring over about six men each time. Uh, would we be able to crush that? Probably. Um, but you know what? Just to be safe... On the safe side, I think I'll wait a couple years and wait for my manpower to, like, you know, complete again. Plus, I don't want to be using mercenaries to use all my work because I have a lot of mercenaries. So, let's just wait a little bit. Let's wait for our manpower to recover and just kind of relax and, you know, take the, take the defeat with a grain of salt and just think of the revenge we will soon have against them. And I really got to pay back all my loans because loans are terrible in this game. This is like, the one thing you gotta watch out of being a Muslim nation is to make sure you don't get too much loan because unlike Christian nations, you really can't pay them back very quickly. Alright, and I think now, I think now, you know, we can kind of just take a breather, now that we're just kind of relaxing, um, we can now just kind of look at all of our relations right now. Portugal is probably going to be the one to declare war on us in the future, so I should probably like mark them down for... Hatred mail, I don't really know. Um, should probably also mark the uh, Mamelukes down as potential allies because, well, honestly, their forces would probably be more helpful than the uh, than the Ottomans if a war did break down. So, yeah. Plus, you know, it wouldn't be nice. To, ooh, I could I could do a moral marriage. Okay, stop increasing relationships. Let's get that royal marriage with them solidify a good alliance with them. Okay, let's get that world of marriage. Oh. Is it question you come to aid? Oh, gosh. Right, you know, right when I was about to, uh, it cost swim. I have, like, no prestige, and I have, like, no dignity. Going to war with the Mamelukes this early in the game is just not... Also, considering you guys have no army, like, what are you doing, Ottomans? No. Decline. You guys have no army. I don't care if I'm losing prestige. <laughs> I've long since given up on the usefulness of prestige, and since that happened, um, uh, Granada and the Ottomans, well, the Ottomans are going to be tied up in there, so I don't have to worry about that, but I have to worry about the fact that I think they have a secret army. You know, this might actually be a good time to attack right now. This is really over-expansionistic in terms of a lot of things, but, you know, this might actually be a good time to attack. No, 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 no. Muslim, Muslim tech group, especially if we're evenly matched, will be difficult to fight. Okay. Um, and now we're just gonna watch as the Ottomans slowly get their butts kicked because <laughs> cause they're kinda stupid at some points. Temporal, temporal mental insanity by our monarch. We're gonna lose prestige and ducats no matter what, so we might as well gain some administration power. Okay, yeah, we are doing the terrible, terrible thing in terms of prestige. So what that basically means, people, is that we need to make sure our monarch dies at some point. Monarch, sir, you can use my land. Okay, 
I don't know what you were thinking, Ottomans. You guys seem like kind of stupid for going after stuff. Um, but while we're waiting, we might as well uh, fabricate claims. What do I want to get? Uh, Legwood might be the best. Uh, what is our mission right now? Uh, Royal Mer Oh, shoot. I never got that Royal Mer You know what? I'm actually not going to get that Royal Mer with Aunt Algiers anymore. It's a little bit late for that. Because I'm probably going to... I'm a little bit on the warpath with them now. Oh, and for some reason my throat is like really really hurting me I don't know why but I think that'll probably be resolved next episode uh yeah our prestige is just terrible right now but at least hey at least we're actually gaining prestige because we went so much in negatives that we're actually gaining prestige that is amazing okay it'll probably take a couple years for us to get back up to good prestige which is fine um I have to be watching our peace you know peace treaties when do they all Get out 15, 40, 15, 14, 58. Hopefully by then I'll have a much better army established. Um, in terms of the war with Ottomans are going. Ducats, yes, I gained some money. Okay, I can now repay it back. All my loans, repay back this loan. There we go, we are officially loan free. And we got decent amounts of army everywhere. Yeah. And apparently we're apparently tolerant towards the Shiite religion. I did not know that. Okay, and yeah. The rest of the world seems to be going pretty good. We have just the usual people in power. The Timurids, the Ottomans, the Delphi. We have a conquest causes Belai now against them. Algiers. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep fabricating claims on them. Because I'm pretty You guys made me pretty angry right about now for twice abandoning me when I needed you. And possibly we could have pushed out the uh, Christians if you'd done that. Nope. You had to be that one Muslim nation, didn't you? You just had to be that one Muslim nation. So, yeah. And I've already figured it out. I already can build a much bigger army right now as it stands than Algiers. Like, Algiers at the max can build... Well, let me skip right here. Algiers at the max can build 10 regiments. They're probably going to go over that because they're cheaters that way. And I have 14 manpower, that means, yeah. I just need to get to my maximum amount of manpower, and then once I do that, then I'll be instantly able to, you know, I'll be instantly able to overpower these guys pretty quickly. And I also have the trip, uh, the little triple oi helping me out. And are the Ottomans really going to come away with this win? Because I'll be really shocked if they do. Navy Traditions, triple oi is now officially loving me. Good job, guys. I may even be able to, like... You know, start annexation uh, until 2158. Dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit, but if I really want to, they are all ready to annex. That's really good. For beginning vassal, like, for the first level of being a vassal, Triple R, you are pretty good. I mean, I can only annex you and convert you to my, to my religion. That's only very good in my mind. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. Um, but this war over here, I'm wondering who the heck is winning it. And don't tell me that the Ottomans somehow pulled out a win of this. Let's see, they are at war with Ryzen and the Mamelukes. No, they can get they can get to it. That's not the problem. Okay. I, I'll be really shocked if they somehow win this war. I'll be really shocked. They are winning this war probably because of sieges, not because of any real tactics. That's what that's what my main guess is. And you know what? I'm gonna ally with the God dang, I don't think these guys would really like us to be an ally. I'm guessing. No. No. Uh, but I might ally with these guys just because they are going to be a little bit quicker of a help. Like, I don't think the Ottomans are going to be too big of a help, especially since they're allied with Algiers. And it just makes sense, especially if you go into a big gigantic war, we'll have two different fronts to attack them on. So, yeah. And plus, I think the Mamelukes are a pretty good sized army. Let's see. Um, total armies in the world. Biggest right now is not the Ottomans. The Mamelukes have a bigger army than the Ottomans do at this current time in the game. That basically tells me that yes, it'd be a very good idea to do a royal marriage with these guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I accept that. I don't want to, don't want to, like ruin my good money games right now. Okay, okay. Uh, what we could also do is we could also get another advisor now that we've done stuff. Diplomatic reputation is always great, and land maintenance modified. That's also great. Ooh, 
Actually, I may have to kick that one out. That one's just a little bit too expensive for my taste. Okay, and an alliance from the Mamelukes. Good. Okay, now let me see. What are they doing right now? Okay, the Ryzen forces are just sitting there, and they're not trying to invade the Ottomans. Smart militaristic tactics right there, everyone. The genius of the Mamelukes are being shown right now in this war. Oh, but they are getting their butts kicked by... Oh my goodness, that is like... Maybe I chose the wrong ally. Well, not necessarily. I just... That actually wasn't the... Actually, that was the Mamelukes. Oh gosh, I chose the wrong ally. Oh, and that was a level 2. No wonder why that was costing me so much money. I was like, dang. Okay. So let's see, our first rebellion's over here, trying to be all rebellion y. Uh, just go crush him. There we go. And our forces are pretty balanced right now in terms of how I like them. And we're just kind of sitting back and just waiting for fabricated claims to come on. Can I just keep fabricating claims? Like with two merchants? Can I? No. Dang it, I thought I could, like, with two merchants, just fabricate both claims. Um, I'll try to increase our relationships with these guys, but they already rivaled us, so I won't do that. They rivaled us. They did not rival us, but I'm pretty sure they'll still hate us. Um, the Ottomans hate us by a lot, so I don't think I'll ever be able to get them as an ally. And, yep, they're coming back. Dang it. I chose the wrong ally to make mad, but... Luckily, there's always this thing called... Let's see. If you to join our Dishonored Alliance. Yeah, that should go down eventually. Uh, I should just increase our relationships with them. That way, they're not too wi willing to go to war with us. Because I just realized that may have made... A lot of my life much much harder much much harder but I think they finally insulted us good job you guys are definitely not making your case any more better for the fact I want to take you over okay let's pour this province let's just finally start a core now that we have enough money we can finally start pouring and I have to make sure I look at the ledger every couple minutes and by the way I'm gonna diplomatically insult you Send an insult. For no apparent reason, just because I want to. Yeah, you want to send an insult? I'll send an insult back. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, this, this, is, this is like child's play. It's just like that. It's just like these two nations are going at it. They're like. Okay, so let's get another core right there. And when did these cores. I mean, when did these claims run out? Uh, 1482, this one runs out in 1481. Okay, so I still got a lot of years before I have to really start pressing some of these, which is good. Makes my, uh, you know, hatred towards everyone a little bit less, a little bit less, but I just have to wait for the uh, Mamelukes to lose this. They did lose it. Now I have to wait for them to rebuild their army, and then from there we just go after a good old fashioned siege to go kill off Algiers. And then my life is complete. <laughs> Uh, and let's see. Is there any, like, good one militaristic commanders? This guy's a one militaristic commander. Gonna cost me 1.2. That's good enough for me. No, we just need to be increasing our technology just by a little bit, but not too much, because we still want to make sure we can westernize. Which, how is that going for us? They are three tech ahead of us. It's going pretty good. <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. It's going pretty good right now. Three tech ahead of us, that's not bad enough for us to be, like, hating on it, and it's not bad enough for us to be, like, mad about. That's actually really good. Gold Rush! Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! Oh my goodness, that's a lot of my, that's a lot of, like, good things that just happened. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, that means I can finally build some, like, buildings. I could become the Defender of the Faith if I really wanted to. Um, do I really want to? No. Do I really want? No. Not, no. Just, 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 no. Um, but what I could start to do, actually, is build another fleet. Which, how many ships can I build at this time? 23. Um, do I really want to? Two. One, two. One, two. I guess you could build three on each seas. Three. Three. And then build, like, early Karax over here. There we go. That's going to be my new sea, uh, sea invasion force, is with all those ships. It should be not strong enough to deal with any, like, uh, <laughs> uh, great and mighty uh, Castilian powers, but it should be good enough to protect myself just in case. I should at least be able to get them into my port if I really need to. That's basically what I want to do. And what I think I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to wait for them to be attacked by the, uh, 
mighty nations of Castile, Aragon, or gain piety, lose ducats. I could do that. I'm going to wait for them to lose their piety with Castile and Aragon. Or I'm basically going to wait for Granada to be attacked. And then from there, then I'll attack them and claim all my cores and just destroy them. Probably not outright annex them. I'll take like, doom, 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 doom. And then next time I'll annex them. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been kind of a successful start to our first, uh, first Morocco Wean campaign. We've taken over this. We've basically subjugated that nation. Uh, we got a good alliance going with our friends over here. They've already started to rebuild their army, which is sweet because then they'll be able to travel through my land to go to a war with Algiers. Um, only thing to worry about is the fact that the Ottomans will be over here, but I'm hoping maybe, just possibly, I could get them not to be the war leader. So maybe I'll just be able to fight with these guys and, you know, just these guys and, you know, just kind of win. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ba-boom!